Rakia Shante and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I have the shades Mahogany and Almond. I also picked up the primer. This is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer. Now NYX collaborated with Alyssa Ashley here on YouTube to produce 45 different shades. I feel like that is incredible especially for a drugstore and being at this price point. The foundation itself retails for $15 and the primer retails for $14. I got mine from Ulta and they were running a sale so it was buy one get one 50% off for um, NYX Cosmetics so I got mine at a discounted price and if I'm not mistaken the sale is still going on. I'm not going to waste any more time talking, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Alright guys, so I pushed my hair out of my face and I did my brows um, off camera. I'm going to go in with the two swatches to see which one I feel like is going to fit my um, complexion the best. Going in with Almond. I'm going to put a nice little swatch right here and just looking in the mirror and in the monitor it's looking a little bit light but Alyssa did say in her review that you needed to kind of let this dry down to get a true test of the color so I will be doing that. I'm going to get a clean finger and go in with mahogany and I think I'm going to put that one closest to my mouth and chin area. So, both of these look like they could be pretty good matches to me, honestly, but I'm going to think I'm going to let it dry down for like another 30 seconds or so, and then try to figure out which one I want to use for today. Now, more about the foundation. Like I said, they came out with 45 different shades, and like I said, that is incredible. I'm super excited for Alyssa for her to be blessed with this opportunity to work with NYX. Also, they said that you can wear this for up to 24 hours, and it'll produce a true-to-color, non-oxidizing shade. I don't know who really wants to wear that foundation for 24 hours, but if you want it to, you could. I'm going to be going to the mall today along with an event that one of my um, friends is having. So I'm going to be outside and kind of in and out of the different climates. I really want to give this a good test for you guys. I feel like this has dried down enough, and honestly, both of them could work. But I think I want to go with mahogany opposed to almond. Just because I feel like this one matches my chest a little bit more. And if I honestly wanted to keep almond instead of returning, I could use almond for my winter shade. So this is what the primer looks like outside of the box. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit out of my hand just to kind of see exactly what the texture of this looks like. So this is a little texture shot for you guys as far as what it looks like. Just feeling the consistency, it puts me in the mind of either the Becca Ever Matte or my favorite, the um, Makeup Forever Primer. And step one, so I'm going to kind of just put that all over my face and then just swirl and tap, swirling and tapping it in as it says on the box. It feels um, kind of smooth on the face and it's like extremely tacky right now. I am going to go in with just a little bit more to kind of go over my eyelids because they get extremely oily throughout the day and to put a little bit to kind of tap into my nose because that's where I get the oiliest. So. It doesn't really leave too much of a white cast, so I like that. Alright, so we did choose mahogany, so I'm going to go ahead with one full pump just to start off with. So just warming that up on the back of my hand. I'm going to provide my little dots per usual. If you guys see me looking off, my mirror and my monitor is on this side of me, so I can kind of make sure that I'm putting this stuff on the right spot. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to go in with my Morphe 439 brush and kind of buff this into my skin. I've been liking using a brush here lately to kind of apply my foundation. So, and this is blending out really, really easy. And I feel like 
like sometimes a true tail to your foundation color is your forehead because it can match like your cheeks and like your chin and stuff but it's your forehead that sometimes I feel like gives it away and I feel like this foundation is matching really good with my forehead so this is just one full pump of the foundation in the shade mahogany mm. okay okay I think I'm liking this so far as the color match and like I said that was just one pump and it pretty much gave me a nice light coverage all over my face I am gonna go in with another I'd say half a pump just to go in and kind of apply a little bit more coverage to some of my more problematic areas Again, just buffing and swirling that out. And I am noticing that this does have a faint, like almost paint smell. So if you're not a smell person, just take that into consideration when picking up this foundation. Now, like I said, I do feel like this is a better match opposed to almond. I really like the coverage that this is providing. Kind of looking down into my monitor and my mirror. Yeah, I like this. I feel like it looks really, really good. And I know that they said it dries down really fast. And it is. It's it's almost dry, guys. Like, So that's, that's really good as far as my super oily people kind of drawing out all of those oils. Alright guys, so this is a pump and a half of the foundation. I really like the coverage that this provided for me. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll show you guys the final look before I head out. Alright y'all, I'm back. And do y'all see what I'm seeing? Because your girl is me, okay? Like, I'm looking at myself in this mirror and in this monitor and I feel like it matched up really well. Um, my concealer blended out really well on top of it. I used my usual, um, where is it, where is it, where is it? I used my usual Too Faced Born This Way in Butterscotch. And then I just set that with my Sasha Buttercup Powder. And I feel like underneath my eye looks really good. It is extremely matte. Of course it said that on the packaging. And the only, I guess, negative that I have about it right now is that it did kind of cling to some of my drier patches on my face. But once I kind of sprayed my face with my Mario um, spray, I, it kind of went away. Um, other than that, I'm loving the finish of the foundation. I feel like all of the powders that I put on top of it really didn't disturb it at all. Like I said, today I'm going to be doing a lot of running around. I have to go to the mall. I have to go to an event with one of my friends. So I'm going to be doing a lot of things, kind of dipping in and out of a lot of different climates to really give this a true wear test. Now my check-ins are going to be via my iPhone, so if you guys see the difference in the quality um, of the check-ins, that is why. But I'll kind of check in periodically, like right now it is what, 11.35, so I've had it on for about 30 minutes right now. So I'll probably do another check-in in about 3 hours, so I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, checking in. It's almost 4 o'clock, so I've had this on for about four and a half hours. Um, it's still looking pretty good in my opinion. I'm a little shiny at the tip of my nose and on the sides of my nose, but that's expected. That's where I normally get really oily. So, like I said, so far so good, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Alright guys, I'm back. It is now 6.15 p.m. And as you can see, I'm really oily right here on my nose and on the sides of my nose. I did not blot or apply any additional powder. I just kind of let the makeup do its own thing today. And I'm still pretty happy with it because usually, like I said, I'm really oily. So I would blot during the day so I wouldn't worry about getting this oily. I actually have a clean paper towel right here. I'm going to blot off the excess. And as you can see, 
that just took the shine right away and I'm still back to being popping. And so I would definitely recommend going out and getting the new NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I feel like it held up really nice. It didn't really oxidize on me or anything like that. So I was really happy with the color match. Like I said, they have a vast variety of shades to fit women of all colors. And it's at a good price point. I don't necessarily think I would buy the primer just because it's similar to ones that I already have. But if you do not have a mattifying primer, I would definitely pick that one up. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you do like this type of video where I check in with you all, go ahead and put that down in the comment section below so I know to do more product reviews on this channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Rakia Shante because that's where I'm the most active. And I'll also be doing a giveaway pretty soon, so you want to be following me to see the details. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you made it this far, I want you to become a part of the family. Tap the notification bell. Make sure you don't miss any of the uploads. And until next time, bye guys.